I'm Alexis Davis and I have musophobia. Today's video is about my phobia. I'm Alexis Davis and I have musophobia. I'm gonna put up a trigger warning for anybody who's like also afraid of rodents, rats, squirrels, or if you're trying to like face your fears like me, then watch this video and we could work together because bitch I'm scared. Well the earliest memory I could think of where like I was like scared shitless when I seen a rat was back when I was way younger, maybe like six, seven-ish. I lived in the projects. We just gonna throw that out there. I was born and raised in the Bronx, New York. So y'all already know what it looks like. I feel like in New York City, it's so much crazy shit going on that a rat is the least of my worries, right? I live in Buffalo right now. There's not as much craziness as New York City. So at some point I remember we didn't have a cat yet. No, we had, oh bitch, we did get a cat. We did get a cat. At six, we had a cat. Shout out to Mikey. He passed away. That was my nigga though. But Mikey used to, this little asshole used to catch mice. Like, I guess cut their head off. I don't know what he did, but he used to cut the head off and then eat the body and then leave the head. Like, just to, I guess, like, I think they say that cats do that. So you can be like, oh my god, you're such a good boy. Like, oh, like, you know, so they can feel like, yeah, I just saved your life, bitch. Da -da -da -da. But it's like, no, eat it all. Eat the whole thing. Eat the head too. Like, I don't want y'all to think, like, it was bitches had rice in her house. Da -da -da. No, it wasn't like that. It was like once in a blue. Mikey, he knew, bitches knew what's up when they pulled past my building. I mean, my apartment, they like, oh no, bitch, it's a cat in there. I'm not even fucking with that. I'm going to just go to the neighbor's house anyways because they dirty. One day, I remember I was cleaning up my room. Oh my God. I was cleaning up my room. I was on the floor cleaning stuff up. Um, Mikey decided to cut off a body one day, eat the body up, and leave the head in my room. I picked up a plastic bag that just happened to be there. I don't know how the fuck he got it like under or near it. I picked it up and remember seeing this head and just like losing my mind. Like losing my shit. Like I was like. <gasps> I also had a friend. I had a friend and she didn't have a cat. And she lived in the projects too. And she had rats in her apartment. And I remember she called me and she lied to me. Like, you could tell she, I'm really like that bitch. That bitches want to be friends with me that bad. They want to lie to me. She lied to me and begged me to come to her house and was like, I got a cat. Girl, like, don't worry. My cat is snatching them up. Blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, thinking about it. I'm like, I'm just thinking about it. Like, I'm like, I'm not going to do it. My dumb ass go over there hanging out with her. I'm like, where the cat at? Because I'm not playing with you. As soon as I came in, I I don't even think I sat down yet. I was like, where's your cat? She like, oh, the cat's in the bathroom. Blah, blah. I'm like, why is it in the bathroom? Oh, because he like scared. Scared of the rats? Me too. I bet. I wonder. I, like, I, I, I guess. I get it. Like, I don't know what why I thought like, okay, just stay. So I stayed and like two of these motherfuckers came out and was like with each other like they was really like getting it popping like they was fighting or something because they was just like I'm like no I have to go like I ran like I was I went home I was like I'm not coming to your house no more like why would you you lied you a liar she she lied to me and she stole from me so that would be another story time for another day so, you're probably thinking, what's the whole purpose of this fucking video? And why are you telling us all this shit that we don't really even care about? I'm telling you because I'm trying to face my fear. And 
I kind of want to share this with you guys. Like, I want you to see my journey of facing my fear and getting over this shit because I'm not going to do this forever. I live in a really, uh, in a decent area in Buffalo, I would say. Like, there's some areas that I'll be visiting and I'll be like, ooh. The problem is, they're trying to rebuild our little area i got a little restaurant across the street from me little hospital now they build the new like buildings and stuff like that and since they started building new buildings there's just been like rats like like everywhere and they respectful to a certain extent like they don't come out into like nighttime it's so fucking dark in the front of my building and i've recorded today so i'm gonna enter the video but when you come out of my building there's like two bushes like and it's a path to walk right and then if you're still in front of the building there's this path and then there's like grass and like an opening with like a fucking buffalo just statue like buffalo just be doing too much but the rats run where the bushes are like they run like that so if you're walking through that path it, there's no way to run if you see one there's no like i can't i feel trapped i went on google this was probably like 3 a.m a couple of months ago like they're telling me steps to get like over my fear But the first one was like to look at pictures of rats right start off with cartoon pictures then eventually lead on to like um real pictures so today my first episode of my musophobia we're gonna look at cartoon pictures of rodents like i didn't even know how much ratatouille the movie triggered the fuck out of me like y'all remember that first like one of the first um scenes of the movie they was all in the ceiling in that lady house and she was just setting it off like whoo like okay okay <laughs> this isn't bad like this isn't extremely bad it's making me feel uncomfortable i'm not gonna lie i have work today and i just wanted to come on here real quick and vent today's my first day of work I don't feel like smiling. I don't feel like thriving today. I just want to like chill and be in bed. But gotta get this money because y'all already know I'm a broke ass bitch. And I'm trying to get these coins so I can fund my business. You know what I mean? I'm walking to the bus right now. <sighs> this is so awkward. I don't know how YouTubers just like walk outside and record. I'm like, I hope nobody sees me. They're gonna see me and be like, what the fuck is she doing? Weird ass bitch. I'll see y'all after work. It's so dark. Okay, there's the lighting. I look good. My eyebrows look crazy. Uh, you too. Up. Both of y'all back y'all asses up. Whew. You missed me? So your girl is back home. She survived. She is thriving. She like did what she had to do. Like work was great. I almost fell asleep during orientation, but I kept it together because I need this check because what? I'm a broke bitch. That's what I'm gonna start doing at work. And y'all be like, she's a broke bitch. I'm like, what? Oh. So, on my way to work, as you guys seen, I was on my way there. I was about to get on the bus, you know, broke life, doing what I had to do. 
as I'm waiting for the bus and this is my sign to vlog always like I'm getting used to this YouTube shit I'm not used to like pulling out my camera recording myself just talking to myself I'm not used to it but I'm gonna have to get myself used to it because shit was just happening every time I turned off my camera so turn off my camera waiting for the bus like a normal person and this homeless man just comes like he's coming this way I'm standing here I'm minding my business. I see that he's coming. I don't play games with homeless people. Like, homeless people could be crazy sometimes. They could be angels. It just depends. And I don't want to be the person to figure it out. The guy's coming this way, and he's, like, low-key smiling at me. But, you know, homeless people just be smiling sometimes. So, I smile back. Nothing crazy. Like, a little, like, my mask is on, too. So, all you see is... So, I'm like... So, <laughs> he comes by, and he's like, hey, how are you? Like, how you doing? And I'm like, good, like, how are you? So he's like, it's something about your aura that like, I just really like. Like, you're just like, I don't know. Like, you just made me smile. So I'm like, oh, like, I'm like, oh, like, I'm happy I could do that for you. Homie backs out a whole tray of like crystals and he like oh um i sell crystals or whatever so i'm like is he coming to me to say this to me just because he think i'm about to buy some crystals but i'm like yeah he don't know he clearly don't watch my youtube channel bitch i'm broke so i'm like i don't have money for crystals he's like no 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 it's okay we have cash out we have venmo i'm like um i'm like i don't have it sir i'm sorry so He's like, you know, it's okay. And he's like, wait, actually, hold on one second. And then he goes in his pocket and pull out, like, this black rolled up ball or something. So I'm sitting there like, is this man back out a knife and just, ugh, ugh, ugh. Man, I'm like, okay, like, waiting for him to unravel whatever the fuck he's about to unravel. And it's this. Can y'all see it? And he's like, I just want you to keep it. Like, you know, don't worry about it. Like, just want you to have it. So I'm like, oh, like, okay. So I hit up my friend Lily, and I'm like, bitch, what is this? And she's like, oh, she looked it up. She said it's a Durga, Durga, Durga? I hope I said that right, I don't know. But she said it was one of those, and I'm like, is it good, is it bad? She's like, it's a little bit of both. So, I'm about to cleanse it, because I didn't even cleanse it yet. I only sprayed it with some light soil, because like I told y'all, he home miss. I'm like, sir, I don't know what you was doing before that, so. But you my nigga. Um... I'm just editing this video and I looked it up. Ama Durga, because I still don't know how to say it, is a warrior goddess. And she basically fights like demonic people and creatures and shit like that. Like she's a bad bitch. And um I'm still reading about her. But I just wanted to come on here and tell y'all, like, she's a whole ass bad bitch. Like, so clearly this homeless man seen me and was like, you a bad bitch and you need this bad bitch pendant. And that's what he did and he gave it to me. So shout out to you, boo. When I see you again, I'm going to have money. <laughs> okay. Okay, that was it. Bye. Love you. Subscribe. So, yeah. That was my day. Thank you guys for watching my first episode of me facing my fear, my musophobia. Before you know it, I'll never be scared of rats again. I'm going to get myself a little pet little rat. No, I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. Let me go. Um, Yeah, thanks for watching. I love you so much. Um, Be that bad bitch that God made you to be. What? That doesn't even make sense. All right, bye. Love you. Period. Okay, so, so right. Hold on, hold on. I bet. So you not gonna subscribe? You just gonna watch my videos? That's it. I don't like that.